Well, folks, as you can see, we've got this chocolate bear spotted. And we're trying to slip up on him using this uh, blind device that this guide has built. It's really just some boards off a pickup truck. We have to wait till that bear puts his head down before we can move. Now, we're using a laser range finder by Bushnell. It's awfully important on stock like this. You get your yardage right. If you'll notice, we don't even have a gun backup on this stock. Now when that bear puts his head down, we can move, but when he looks at us, we've got to stop. Now right about now, we realize that the cameraman's kind of out in the open, so we're going to make him uh, stay where he's at for just a few seconds. And then uh, after we get him stopped, look what happens. The bear lays down right out in the field. He's laying down watching us, so we've got to just hang tight. And it's a pretty bear. It's chocolate on the front and kind of a light cinnamon on its rump. It's a real pretty bear. Then for some reason he decided he's going to get up and uh, we could move just a little bit thin. Now you can see I'm moving the rangefinder out of the way, getting ready to shoot. We're getting pretty close. He's still about 35 or 40 yards away. And looks like he's going to try to slip around on us, come around on the side. He's getting kind of curious, wants to see what we are. looks away for a second gives me an opportunity to kind of get set up for a shot as you can tell my heart is probably going 90 miles an hour right now this is an exciting way to bear hunt here he comes he's coming straight at us And he just keeps on coming. And about now, for some reason, he turns and decides he's going to ease back toward the woods. I step out, draw that high country. Real good shooting bow, that high country. Bear hunting at its best using high country bows, bushnell range finders, and steel force broadheads. Got him with a high country. <laughs> Shooting a steel force broadheads. Thank you, sir. No problem. Appreciate it.